can't use it to phone your friends. You can't use it to surf the internet. And you definitely can't use it to listen to the latest tunes. So what is broccoli good for? You may have heard scientists claim that broccoli is good for you. Let's put that theory to the test by taking a look inside this common vegetable. survey the aftermath, we can see antioxidants here, here, and here. Antioxidants protect us from free radicals. At school, at play, and at work, the oxygen we breathe is constantly forming free radicals. These destructive molecules attack our bodies from the inside, contributing to aging, disease, and cancer. Bad diet, pollution, and stress can increase the number of free radicals messing up our system. Fortunately, broccoli is a fantastic source of antioxidants, which help our bodies mop up those destructive free radicals. Let's see what else broccoli contains. Aha! Broccoli contains lots of vitamin A. Vitamin A is essential for healthy vision. It is necessary for translating the light signal that enters our eyes into an electrical signal, which can be understood by our brains. Vitamin A deficiency can lead to progressive vision loss, complete blindness, or even death. <laughs> ah, much better. Vitamin A deficiency affects up to one-third of children under five worldwide, so make sure you get the vitamin A you need. Broccoli is packing a whole lot more than just antioxidants and vitamin A. If we look again, we can see another healthy ingredient. Folic acid. Regular intake of folic acid during the first four weeks of pregnancy significantly reduces the risk of birth defects such as spina bifida, which can lead to paralysis. Regularly eating broccoli as part of a balanced diet protects you and your unborn child. So it seems that scientists weren't joking when they said that broccoli was good for you. Two cups, twice a week, is all you need for a healthy body.